come out tonight. I haven't been out for, let's just straighten that up a little bit. I've, uh, I haven't been out for, I don't it feels like absolutely ages. Um, I meant to come out on my son this evening, but he do not want to come out and get wet because we've got a chance of uh, rain through the night. But we've also got some lovely blue skies up there and, and I'm hoping for some stars. Probably just get a load of cloud, but you know, that's all right. My oh, moustache and lip looks weird, doesn't it? What's that? That looks even weirder. Uh, I've come up to a place that's not far from Mount Cayburn. I'll show you that on a map now. And uh, that there is basically, it's a lovely little walk. I say little walk, it's about a half an hour walk. And just to my left, this side, you've got um, a giant uh, electricity windmill that sits on the top of the hill that overlooks um, a village in near Lewis called Glind or Glyndebourne. And the Glyndebourne Royal Arts Theatre thing that's just over the hill from that. And I think that must power some of the homes that are around this way. So I'm going to try and get some long exposures of that thing with the sunset. The sunset's over that way, which is to my um, east, obviously. Um, so hopefully I'll stay up here until about 10 o'clock or something like that. And just wait for the stars to get out and get a little bit darker. There's no moon tonight. If there is, it's tiny, so there won't be much moon cast. Not like there was at that windmill a few weeks back. That was sublime, that was, that was, that was beautiful. I keep looking down there, I should be looking up there. What I'm doing is looking down at the camera. You might have noticed my Viking warrior here. He's actually glow in the dark. It's pretty cool, isn't it? So you might see it tonight, you might not. So I'm gonna get out of the car, take a wander over to that windmill, see what's going on over there, and then I might take a walk over to Cadeburn itself. But I'm um, just gonna hang around this area, which is quite nice. So I'll, uh, I'll speak to you guys in a minute. Oh, and uh, thanks and welcome to all the new subscribers that have come up to the channel recently. I've had a surge of, of uh, subscribers. At the moment I've said that, I'll probably lose half of them. Um, but don't be, don't be shy. Watch a couple of videos, stick a thumbs up if you like it, and if not, oh well, never mind. Uh, so yeah, catch you later. Gone for just a simple vertical shot with this one. We've got the big power windmill in the front there, and there's some kind of shape up there, which I'll show you just off camera soon. But I'm going to hope to get those lovely black, dark, grey clouds that are there. There's a bit of an orange sort of undercoat, undertone. A few pheasants in the field up there as well. And uh, which is pretty awesome. But um, I'm going to do one tenth of a second, so it's quite a slow shutter. I'm at f11 and I'm at ISO 100 uh, what are we on here? I'm infinity focus and I'm using the 35 to 70 millimeter lens and all I've done is just a simple vertical pano with three shots one just there, one in the middle, one to the left and that'll just give me a nice square crop of that shot if I take the one, first one now it's just outside And all I'm doing is just moving it around. I'm not actually moving the tripod, just moving the, the pano as it comes around. Swing it around. Just up there, there's some odd shape. Just gonna check that out. See if I can get some sort of competition going across to that, because the blades are actually facing the opposite way. So I'm gonna try and get them moving that way. But the clouds are actually moving across the sky, which is quite nice. But I have a sense it's going to rain soon, but I'm going to get up there as quick as I can and take the shot. So with this shot, it's another pano two shots one side to the other but be really quick because my battery's about to low I'm not even sure if it's recording but it's a lovely blue sky over there 
but lots and lots of orange. You've got the windmill, you've got this wooden structure which I think was part of an old beacon. It's just a lovely, lovely, beautiful bit of landscape. So I'm going to take a shot here. Just line that up. Bring that round. And one more. And I'll show you that now. Same sort of shot this time. I'm just slightly over to the left. I just noticed that the composition is a little bit better this side, although I probably miss a little bit the windmill out. So the wooden structure that's the beacon is probably on this right side here. There's loads of wildlife up here. Peacocks over that way, there's pheasants this way. There's some bird that keeps flying down there. Anyway, where was I? So the beacon's this side, and you've got the windmill that side. And uh, it just seems to be a bit of a, I don't know, it suits it better. So I've gone for a three shot pano again, because I really like this style. Um, it's one of my favorites. I think it just produces a little bit more detail on the lower resolution cameras. Um, so there's one shot on the right, one in the middle for the windmill itself, and then just bring it over one more time, and then that gives me three lots of resolution. It's gone a bit quieter now, the wind's dropped a bit. And then it's, that just seems to work quite nicely. A bit of movement in the bushes over there, but the settings are f11, one eighth, one eighth of a second. So I'm quite slow again, slower than before. Um, and ISO 100, same lens, same setup really. Not much is different there. I'm excited because I haven't been out for so long, so I'm a little bit like, whoa, I don't know where to go. But this band of orange colour is beautiful as it runs across, it's gorgeous ideal for thunderstorms after all the weather that we've had down south it's been quite warm and a bit blowy a bit rainy it's been beautiful in fact quite looking forward to seeing what happens tonight up here I'm actually going to have to sign off now because I've just noticed that behind me, and what you can see as well, whilst this cow slip stuff, it's a, it's a massive bank of rain clouds. I can feel the rain every now and then hit me, and they're quite big blobs of water. And I don't particularly want to be caught out on it. I've captured the windmill and I've captured the, the beacon, which is what I've come up here to do. Captured a little bit of the last remaining parts of the light just over that side. But this bank of cloud is so huge, it's actually swallowed up the sunset. So. it quits I think but just want to say thanks for everybody who's sticking by the channel um, get me to a thousand I'm so close to it it's like in lifting distance it's just there I'm on 84 839 or something like that so just keep pressing the subscribe button and don't forget to press the little bell as well if you want to do it of course not buff fussed either way just be nice if you could subscribe and I should be out again soon hopefully not too long this time But it's absolutely beautiful. I might just see if I can squeeze in a cup of tea. It's a nice peaceful little area. Love it. Anyway, I'll see you later guys. Thanks for stopping by.